What's going on guys, this is Charge, and today I have a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro tutorial, or Sony Vegas Movie Studio tutorial, about um, color corrections, and last time I used a color corrector, I showed you these two color corrections, my cool CC bro and my cool CC favela. If you haven't seen that video, uh, you might as well go look at it. It's probably going to be somewhere on this video, the link to it that is. And so I showed you those, now I'm going to show you how to make that with a color curve, or color curves. As you see, I already have one, and it looks pretty similar to my other, you know, color corrector ones. So, let's drag in, reset to none, you guys will drag in, reset to none. Uh, I'll do that too, onto your clip, same clip from before that I have, oh, balls. Uh, you want to right click on your clip properties, make sure to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable resample and crop out those black, damn black bars, no black bars. Alright, now that we have uh, a suitable clip, uh, let's find a good spot in the clip that we can see everything. There we go. And now we are going to go to our color curves box that we have up. And it's just a RGB. Basically, we're going to edit each one of these individually. We'll start with the red, go to the green, then to the blue. Um, I'm going to just go to my cool CC that I already have. And basically, this is what our outcome is going to be. It actually, I think, looks better than the color correctors because of just the brightness change. The, it just brings out the highlights a lot more. So let's go. Let's start with the red. And basically... You guys are going to, you're going to have this line across here, and you're going to click on these little things and drag them out. Um, you're going to want to drag the bottom one out to here, just a little bit, so you get this curve right here. And you're going to want to drag the top one out to here, so you have this top curve. And that's going to set up a nice little red. Then we're going to want to go to green. And same thing for green, you want to follow the same curve, because... The red and the green are opposites, you want them to be equal along the same curve, or else you're going to have way too much red or way too much green. I have them separated a little bit, it kind of brings out a little bit more red in this. And then you want to go to your blue, and your blue wants to be the complete opposite of those ones because you just want like these nice, this nice uh, dark blue shade in these uh, background like shadows, nice blue shadows, shades. And you still have this popping out because you got the red and the green up there. You got the nice highlights. And it really just pops out this whole clip. Uh, make sure to save that as your preset, whatever you want it to be. And I will just go through this clip. Um, the clip, the whole clip with the color correction will be in the end of the video. And it just looks a whole lot better personally, I think so. If you don't like like all this blue right here, you can obviously go back and edit this. You can go to the blue, and you see like if you move this, you got like more blue, less blue. You can like bring the blue way down to get a lot more like yellow in there. You can bring this blue up, get more blue. You can bring it over, get more yellow. You can get like the minimum of blue, bring it like all the way down here. You can change the red. You can change the red over here, way too much red. Over here, way too much green. So you want it somewhere in the middle there. Um, the same goes for this side. I mean, if you want it to be a little more red like it's that, you can bring your green and make it a little more red, make it a little more green. I think it's fine the way it is, but if you have a different uh, opinion, obviously you can change that too however you want. That also looks like a pretty good color correction. We can go back to other parts in the video. It's it's actually very red. <laughs> I definitely do not like this one. Bring down that red a lot, and I mean it's a little bit better than the regular clip. But uh, I like my previous cool CC, so I'm gonna undo my plugin color curve change. To back what it was before I'm pretty sure this is what it was before and like as you can see it's a big difference from the original clip we'll go back here the original clip is kind of dry kind of just warm colors and you change it to that it pops a lot more 
looks a lot better personally I think so so I hope this uh, this uh, tutorial helped you guys uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel Connor's charge if you haven't already this has been charge peace out my nuggets